Now, the owners of Bread and Board have expanded their brand and locale to include tasty, authentic Mexican fare. It's located in the Star building right here in downtown Jacksonville. <laughs> Well, I'm hanging out with my man Dwayne in a much different setting. We met before when we were at Bread and Board St. John's. He's actually the co-owner of Bread and Board, which you see all over the area. But today we are in Estrella Cocina, which is one of the many restaurants that you guys, I mean, getting to the bare bones, there's Bread and Board there's th that you've had for years, uh -huh. you and your partner have had for years. Now we're in Estrella Casina, which is a new entity. And then there's another entity, Bread and Burger? Bread and Burger, which we opened uh, just about two months ago here on campus as well. About a block away, actually, but, but next to, next to the, uh, the two restaurants down here. When do you sleep, man? <laughs> <laughs> um, not very often. <laughs> so we're inside Estrella Casino, which is obviously Mexican influenced. You said you've always had a passion for it, and like, you know, a lot of people when they think Mexican, more often Tex-Mex, like, oh, we're just making tacos. Y'all, they ain't making tacos. I mean, they are making tacos in here, but they ain't making your tacos that you see it. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Ding! Or is it a bell? But anyway, <laughs> tell me about some of these creations, because these are dynamic, colorful, and if I had smell-o-vision, you guys would be drooling. I'm already drooling, and I haven't even taken a bite yet. Well, it's always nice to see it, too, come out and, and, and be set side by side, because you really do see how how colorful uh, Mexican, traditional Mexican food is by recruiting uh, Dante, my sous chef, and, and bringing him in to do my recipe testing. Um, you know, he's, he's short of a, a cookbook himself. He's got 250 salsa recipes. So our salsas change every week. We have one staple, which is the salsa uh, verde, the salsa cruda here, which is a raw green salsa. But the other salsas, uh, we kind of go mild to wild is what we say. We have a, a, a mild medium and, and always a hot sauce, um, but, but playing with different peppers and different base ingredients. I, I, I mentioned earlier uh, before we sat down that I'd hang my hat on the Baja tacos, but that's local mahi. This says, try me. <laughs> the batter on the mahi tacos is a beer batter unlike any you have ever had before, making for an audible crunch and a tasty mix of flavor. They offer three types of ceviches. This version is aguo chile, traditional in some sense, but serves sashimi style with salmon flown in from Oregon. There's a bunch of other things to consider, but time is of the essence. What is this beast? It looks so amazing and so creative. That's kind of an all-in-one dish, uh, primarily for lunchtime. That's our Australia bowl, which uh, comes with kind of the, our favorites from the lunch menu, which are going to be um, the salsa verde, or excuse me, the um, eros verde, the green rice, or eros mexicana, which is the red rice, uh, the uh, frijoles, and then it's gonna be cabbage and pico and street corn, guacamole, your choice of protein. So we do uh, a guajillo chili marinated chicken, or you can do um, pork verde, or even the uh, barilla beef that we do for the case of barillas. Normally, I'm not gonna share, but we actually have to go check out the burgers downstairs. So uh, I will share some of this, but to be continued.